John Gill's Exposition of the Bible Introduction to Exodus Chapter 13 This chapter begins with an order to sanctify or set apart the firstborn of man and beast to the Lord, Exodus 13. 1 2 And the people of Israel are charged to keep the feast of unleavened bread in its season, from year to year, when they came into the land of Canaan, the reason of which they were to acquaint their children with, Exodus 13. 3 to 10 And they are also directed, when come into the land of Canaan, to set apart every first tealing of a beast unto the Lord, and particularly the first tealing of an ass was to be redeemed with a lamb, or its neck to be broke, and all the firstborn of men were to be redeemed also, Exodus 13. 11 to 13 And when their children inquired the reason of it, they were to be told it was on account of the Lord slaying the firstborn of men and beast among the Egyptians when Pharaoh would not let Israel go, and of saving the firstborn of his people, Exodus 13. 14-16, And it is observed, that when the children of Israel went out of Egypt, they were not led by the nearest way, the way of the land of the Philistines, but a roundabout way, the way of the wilderness of the Red Sea, when they took the bones of Joseph with them, as he had adjured them to do, Exodus 13. 17-19, and the chapter is concluded with an account of their journeying from Sukkot to Etham, the Lord going before them in a pillar of cloud by day, and in a pillar of fire by night, Exodus 13. 20-22